your eyes lit up when you saw Emerald. What does that mean to have this legend here? I, honestly, like, you were the first chef I started watching, and you made it so exciting for me, and, and bam, and kick it up a notch. Now that right there, a clip from the hit Fox show Master Chef Legends. And right now we're here in the Fox 61 by Carrier Kitchen because we're talking to that Cromwell native. He's making his mark on the show airing right here on Fox 61. And joining us right now, we're happy to have Matt Gagnon here in Connecticut. You're actually joining us from your kitchen in Cromwell. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much for being with us, Matt. Hey, thanks for having me today. I appreciate it. All right, so much to talk about because, wow, what an accomplishment. You got your first white apron. What was going through your mind? I mean, not only are you cooking in a short period of time for the three regular judges, but your cooking idol, Emeril. It was, uh, it was nerve-wracking, to say the least. Um, I mean, I just I don't even remember much at this point because it was just such a whirlwind. But to meet Emeril and to get, get to shake his hand and to have him hand me my apron, uh, it, it was pretty incredible. And the fact that I served him pasta um, <laughs> was, a, was great as well. And the fact that he liked it, right? I mean, I, there's, there's not much better compliment I can get than right, having right. Emeril Agassi like a dish that I made. I know. And I love that you threw in the bam. You had to get it oh, in, Oh, I right? had to. I had to. I mean, I was watching that since I was a kid. <laughs> I know, right? All right, we're going to start cooking. You are going to whip us up something, a, sin, a salmon skin, correct? So we're going to do a crispy skin salmon today with uh, a miso ginger honey sauce, um, some wasabi pea puree, uh, ginger roasted carrots, and a um, watercress salad. All right, now so, as, you, as you go, we'll just talk about the show here and there when we can, but let's get yeah. started. So we're just going to start off with the salmon. We're going to sit here and just score it a little bit, um, about half an inch through. And I like to start mine off in a cold pan with a little bit of olive oil. Mm -hmm. um, it helps it keep from curling up. So you start and with it just renders that pan. fat. I do. I start with a cold pan um, for the salmon. So we're just going to get a little salt inside these, these cuts we just made. And we're just going to get it on in a cold pan, and that's it. I mean, this is a pretty simple dinner. So while that's starting, You'd actually start the carrots first here. This is a quick meal. It can come together in about 30 minutes. Um, I have the oven preheated to 400. We have some carrots here. We're just gonna make a quick little glaze for them. So what we have is we have some melted butter. We have about a tablespoon of brown sugar. Now Matt, as you're mixing all those things up, tell us a little bit about how you got started cooking. You're in construction. Oh, so, I mean, I've been cooking. Incredible love for cooking. I've been cooking ever since. Uh, honestly, Emeril was the first guy I watched. He made it exciting. He made everything, uh, you know, interesting. So I just started cooking one day. Um, I think the first thing I ever tried making was like some corn chowder with a lobster bisque and, or, or poached lobster on top. I was like 14 or 15. Um, and then at 17, I actually started, I took over Thanksgiving. Um, all of our Thanksgivings after that, I took over. So I've been doing Thanksgiving and Christmas every year. Wow. For the past, yeah, yeah. So my mother was a little upset because the first year we did it, everybody raved about the turkey and said it was the best one they've ever had. Uh -oh. So uh, she said, I I'm not doing this anymore. It's all on you. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to get these carrots into a 400 degree oven for 20 minutes. Um, that's going to be the longest cook time of anything. Um, we already made the pea puree. That's really simple. You basically just take a cup of water, bring it to a boil throw two cups of frozen peas in, blanch them for three minutes, and then blend them up in a blender uh, with a, one teaspoon of the wasabi paste. Um, blend them up in a blender with about a third a cup of the cooking liquid, and then just strain it through a, a fine mesh strainer or a sieve, and you'll have a nice smooth uh, pea puree. Um, so the salmon's going. We're going to do our miso sauce now. Again, this is a pretty simple and quick dinner, um, but it's delicious. So we have two tablespoons of white miso. We about a tablespoon and a half of honey. Some more ginger. You can get the full recipe on our website and also yeah. on our news app there. Now, as you're working on the uh, pea puree, when did you decide to kick it up a notch? You're doing Thanksgiving, you're doing Christmas dinner. When did you say, hey, I want to take this so, a little bit further, yeah, see so how far I can go? Year, Last year I was actually out, I hurt my back. So I was on a disability for a while. Um, and it was around the time MasterChef 
had their open calls up in Boston. So it all just kind of like worked out. Like my wife and I have watched the show for, I mean, ever since season one, um, we've been watching the show. We love the show. So, and she's been talking about it. You know, you should try out, you should try out. And I was like, ah, it's not the time. It's not the time. And it just happened to be the time. So I went up to Boston. Uh, it was nice. My cousin was up in Boston. So I got to stay with him and, and meet his girlfriend, who's now his wife. Um, and yeah, one thing just led to another. And I ended up getting the call to go out to California to go try out for an apron. Um, so it's just everything just fell into place. That's awesome. All right. So how long is the salmon going to be cooking there? Um, it's about five minutes on the skin side. You really just want to watch it and let it let it come about 60, 70 percent. You can see when it's it'll be about that far cooked. Then we're just going to flip it and cook it for another minute on the other side. But we really just want to let it uh, the fat render out. Um, so it's really the dinners, like I said, about 20, 25 minutes. You can have this on the table. All right, sounds good. Those are the quick meals that I like. Busy yeah, mom. Yeah, exactly. I know. Especially and I have to imagine with kids and everything. Yeah, I have to imagine your family's just thrilled to be able to see you on TV. Oh yeah, it was great. Um, and then my daughter, I mean, she she barely remembers because it's been a year now. You know, she was two, three at the time we were out there. Yeah. So now it's it's crazy because she looks so much different. Um, but yeah. Well, awesome. We're going to be rooting make... you on, of course. Hoping you go all the way. And uh, you know what? Show them everything you got. Show them what Connecticut has. That's it. Connecticut's got a lot to offer. Absolutely. So. Thanks so much for joining us. Great to see you again. We'll be rooting you on all the way. And for folks at home want that recipe, you can head over to our website and get it. They'll have recipe links there, also videos. You can also get it on our Fox 61 News app. And don't forget, you can watch and see how Matt does on the show by tuning in here on Fox 61 Master Chef Legends Wednesday at 8 o'clock only here on Fox 